Hey Yogi, welcome to your full body yoga stretch. If you're new around here, I'm Amber and I'm so happy you've decided to join me today. During this class, we are gonna be stretching out all the major muscle groups to have you feeling your best. And you could do this class first thing in the morning or as an evening wind down, really just any time that you need a quick fix. So go ahead and roll out that mat, grab some water and let's get started. All right, friends, let's begin seated on our knees at the back of the mat. Go ahead and open your knees out to the sides of your mat. Begin to walk your hands forward about a foot, and then you're going to bring your right arm underneath the left, reaching towards the left. Now you can keep the left hand right by your face, or you can walk it up to the top of your mat. Just taking a gentle twist here. Inhale. Exhale out, looking towards the left. And then bringing the left hand back towards your face, pushing yourself up and then taking the twist on the other side. So threading the left arm underneath the right, bringing the left ear down and then if you'd like, you can walk your right hand up towards the top of the mat and just relaxing into this pose, allowing your hips to sink closer to your heels. Let's take one more breath here and then gently pushing yourself back up. And you can bring your knees together now. Inhale, let's reach the arms up. Exhale, bring your hands down to your mat, taking a quick child's pose, feeling yourself grounded and connected to your mat and to the earth beneath you. Now I'd like you to look up towards your hands and begin to slide your hands forward, arch your back, coming through a puppy pose all the way into Sphinx pose. Open the chest, drop the shoulders. Bring the hands back, push up and round back into child's pose. And let's do that a few more times. So on your inhale, slide forward, Arch the back all the way into your sphinx. And on your exhale, slide your hands back, push up and round back into your child's pose. Beautiful job. And last time, looking forward, inhale, sliding the arms forward. And this time holding that sphinx pose, drop the shoulders down, open your heart, Spread your fingers nice and wide. Now shifting your weight slightly to the right so that you can lift your left knee and bring it up into the side so that it's in line with your hip. Your left toes are pointing towards the back of your mat. Inhale, exhale here, trying to relax into this pose for a gentle hip opener. Go ahead and release and then take it to the other side. And you can close your eyes here, softening the space in between your eyebrows. Make sure that you're hugging those elbows in so they're not winging out to the side. Good. And let's release when you're ready. Sliding your hands back so they're right under your shoulders. Push yourself up so that you come into a tabletop position. Shoulders over the wrists, hips over the knees. Inhale, arch your back, maybe look up. Exhale, round, pushing the mat away from you. Inhale, arch, smile your collarbones open. 
Exhale, round, tucking your chin and your tailbone. Inhale. And on your next exhale, let's meet in a flat back. Tuck your toes underneath. Walk your hands forward a couple inches and then lift the hips, press up and back into your downward facing dog. Fingers spread wide, pull the shoulders away from the ears, feet are about hips distance. Inhale up to your tippy toes, exhale, press the heels down. Inhale, lift the heels, exhale, press them down. Three more times, inhale, lift, exhale, press, two more. And last time, beautiful. Holding here for one more deep breath. And then let's bring the right knee into the chest, round forward and step that foot up in between your hands. Bring the left knee down to the mat and when you're ready, inhale, reach up into your low lunge. Grabbing onto your elbows behind your head. And if this is not accessible, you can just interlace your fingers and bring them behind your head. Inhale, lengthen up through the crown of your head. Exhale, bending over to the right. So you're getting a really deep stretch through the left hip flexor here. And if you're struggling with the balance, you can always walk your right foot out to the side of the mat a step or two. And now let's come back up to center, release the hands, bring your hands down to your mat, tuck your back toes, lift the knee off the mat, Step your right foot back and then lift the hips up into your downward facing dog. Good job. Going right into the other side, bring the left knee into your chest, step it forward in between your hands. Back knee comes down, you can untuck the toes. And then when you're ready, inhale, lift up into your low lunge. Again, taking whatever arm variation you took on the other side. If you did hold on to your elbows, try to grab on the opposite way. Inhale, lift up, reach up. Exhale, bending over to the left. Finding your balance, engaging your core here. And you wanna make sure that that front knee is not going past your ankle. All right, go ahead and release. Bring your hands down to your mat. Again, tuck the back toes, lift the knee off the mat and step right on back into your downward facing dog. From here, let's step the feet together. Inhale, lift the right leg, bend the knee and then coming into your pigeon pose. So the right ankle comes to the left wrist and the knee to the right wrist. Now you might need to scoot your left knee back a little bit. And then you wanna make sure that your hips are square so you're not opening your hips out to the side. If you're comfortable, go ahead and come on down to your forearms or you can come all the way down, placing your forehead on your hands or your mat. Inhale through your nose. Exhale out. Now, if this is too much, you're completely welcome to place a pillow or maybe a block under your hips to provide a little more support.
slowly and mindfully come on up, plant your hands down, tuck the back toes, and then step back into your downward facing dog. Again, bring the feet together and on your inhale, let's lift the left leg up, bend the knee and taking your pigeon pose on the left side. Now, if that left foot begins to come in towards your body, go ahead and let it. You don't wanna force your leg into a parallel position with the top of the mat. That's quite an advanced version. So as you hold this posture, if the foot begins to slide in, that is completely fine. Just let it. And again, you can stay up on your hands. You can make your way down onto your forearms, or you can come all the way down, completely resting your upper body across the leg. Again, slowly make your way up, coming onto your hands, tuck your back toes, lift the back knee off the mat, and then step back into your downward facing dog. Beautiful, you guys. And you can come on down to your knees, finding a seated position on your knees and then opening your knees out to the side as wide as is comfortable. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, bring your hands down. Forehead comes down for one more child's pose. And if you like, you can actually turn your palms so they're facing up, just surrendering to this moment. Turning your palms up as a symbol of receiving whatever the rest of your day or night has for you. Inhaling space into your muscles, into your body. Exhale, melting into your mat. Inhaling in through your nose. Go ahead and open your mouth, sigh it out. You're welcome to stay here as long as it serves you. However, if you need to come out and continue on with your day or night, and go ahead and make your way up to a comfortable seated position. And once you're there, inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, bring your hands down to your heart. And one more time, inhale, reach up. Exhale, bring your hands down to your heart. And bowing your head down towards your hands and your own heart thanking yourself for prioritizing your health and your well-being. It's been my honor to guide you. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me for your practice today. If you liked this class, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my future classes or videos. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.